Watch me ride. Well, you can see all of the helmets, I think. Yeah, you can. Not all of them, you can't. Right. Q&A time. We are going to do the answers. I'm using Random Comment Picker website. And we're going to start with your video. Mine. So the first question is asked by the capacitor. And they said, random question. Well, this is one that I liked, actually. What planet slash moon in the solar system would you like to visit if you had the choice? Well. I don't know. I've been thinking about it. I don't really know where I would want to go more than anywhere. I think out of all of the planets, I prefer the one that we're on. <laughs> For everything that it is, even though it is a bit destroyed and everyone on the Earth is kind of killing it. But just the Earth for what it is. I just like that. But if I had to go to a random planet, one that I've always liked is Neptune. Because it's all blue and pretty, even though it's kind of full of gases and stuff. So I'll probably die, but I like it. So my number one one would be the Earth, if not Neptune. What about you? Uranus. <laughs> Next one is... The Chronicles of Mr. Fish. <laughs> and what does he ask? He said, When did you first discover you had a fetish for giants? <laughs> it was about the same time I found I had a fetish for bald men. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> My god. I don't have a fetish for giants. So I had a random person asked me that question once. Some guy that I used to work with in one of my old jobs was like, oh, um, because he saw us once walking and he was like, oh, so, do you like them tall then? I was like, what? <laughs> no, I don't have a major preference. She does. Because she can't reach anything on the top shelf. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Date someone tall and they can get everything for you, especially if you're small. Like yeah, Mickey. but then you can get things where I can't because it's like That's for true. me to bend down to a normal like fridge level. Where it's my mid knee level for most. For, like for me, it's my mid knee. For most people, it's like hips. It's not. It works out. See, I can get all the small things and you get all the tall things. That's how it works. Next question is by Timothy Perry, and he says. Where would you and Spicy like to road trip together? I don't really know. Well, there is a plan to go to Germany, but that's not really... It's... I don't know. It's not... It's not very realistic at the moment. Yeah, that's the problem. Because it's not realistic at the moment, it's not something we... I don't... We tend not to spend time thinking about things that are, like... Mm. Like it's like it's for, really at the moment on. it's kind of like when am I going to get my first golden toilet? I don't worry about <laughs> that because it's not a pressing issue. <laughs> we don't really have the right bikes for it. I can't. I still haven't got my bigger bike yet, and then I don't know if I want to be riding on the wrong side of the road when I'm getting used to a. Well, they could be UK. Place. Do what? They didn't. They said road trip. Yeah, road trip in the UK though. Where would I like to go? You know, I would actually, one place I would like to visit would be the Peak District because it's very pretty up there. But it takes like three hours to get there, so that would be a very long road trip. Scotland has less people. Mm, it depends where you go in Scotland. I'd like to go to Devon. Aim north and keep going. <laughs> Until you get to the end and go off the cliff. <laughs> Solve the problem. Phil 480. And he says. My question, can you or Spicy recite the rules of rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock? Um, if not, then Merry Christmas to me and Spicy and all the best for 2018. I know what it is. I got it if I can remember it's, it. Well, it's from Big Bang Theory, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Unfortunately, no, I, I don't, haven't spent that much time watching Big Bang Theory. All I know is that Spock beats all of them, so if you just pick Spock, you'll always win. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Or does the lizard... I don't know. Oh, well, I, can think I can't remember. The answer's no. I can't remember. <laughs> the answer's no, Phil. Sorry, Phil. Happy Ratmus. Oh, <laughs> the little ratties. They are cute. I like the ratties. Charlie H, do you miss your long hair? Does Reno prefer it long or short? It's really a question for you. I mean, do I miss it? Hell no. <laughs> Not in the slightest. Um, I don't 
think I prefer it shorter. I like to sit both ways. Didn't have a problem with your long hair, but I think because it's shorter, it shows your face off more, whereas your long hair kind of hid it away. And the other issue is we only have one head of hair to get in the way we're trying to sort of sleep. <laughs> my hair gets everywhere and it's always falling out. No matter where you look, my hair will be somewhere. I can be laying on a pillow this way and I'm like, yeah, it's fine. I roll over and it's just like... <laughs> Drowning in hair. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus fried Christ. How spicy is spicy? Like mild or super mega death sauce spicy? I don't know. I Somewhere in the middle? <laughs> Way beyond Sriracha, nowhere near the final dab. What is this? Scythe Rocks 405? Yeah. Do you two plan on having kids in the future? No. Nope. Have more fun things to do than have those creatures. <laughs> creatures? They are creatures. <laughs> Sorry, but no one's going to love your kids as much as you do. Just don't expect other people to love them equally. Most people hate them. Well, it is true. Some people do. Some people like it's their just... kids and hate other people's kids. Some people love all kids. I, I know how to li liken it to uh, people who have a dog that's jumping all over the place. Oh, he's just playing! He's just playing! And you're like, I don't want it playing on me. I don't like this. But they're like... <laughs> He's friendly. He's, He's friendly. He's friendly. Greet him. Greet him. <laughs> Greet him properly. Greet him. Greet him. <laughs> Anyone get that reference? You have actually watched a BBC program. Greet him. <laughs> right, this is from Reno's. So. Oh, from mine. Oh, it's the same guy again. Merry Christmas again. Red Devils. Very, very Christmas. While she's getting this, I'll show you something funny. Um, so I've got an animal hat, and as it turns out, don't. Don't tumble dry animal hats. <laughs> it looks even small. Really, it looks even smaller on camera. I thought we were supposed to add length. <laughs> Look, it's, it's shrunk. Tiny. It's toy. It's a teeny tiny ass. Ethan would be proud of this. <laughs> you could put it on the very top of his his uh, beanie um, tower. It would be good for the top of the beanie tower. It would. I oh, would we'll continue doing this video like this. <laughs> what? You like a gnome? <laughs> I'm part of gnome nation. <laughs> we got a question. We now. have another question. This one's from Valentine, and they said, uh, "Do you be your dream bike if money was no objects?" I don't mean what would your dream bike be if money was no objects. But would you? But that's a better <laughs> question. That would you be <laughs> the bike? Sorry, if you not. wanted to, but yeah, because this is the thing. It's so different. If you wanted to, I oh, you, what do you want to? I would like to know Spicy's choice too. Sorry for laughing at your misspelling, but it's great. It is great. I think you should answer it. Is what bike would you like to be? What bike would I like to be? Yes. Reincarnated mm. as, a, as a motorcycle. What would you want to be? I like. This is so like. This made noise. It's so cliche, but I like the uh, S1000RR, the blue one, because it's so pretty. It's small, like me. I'm small. And it's got the pretty blues and the whites and the little, like, sidey bit. I, I just think it's a pretty bike, so I like that one. And blue's, like, my favourite colour, and it's got the very nice bike blue on it. Would you be, if you could be a bike? I'd just be Derek, because I can ride through people's gardens. <laughs> I was going to say something like, run people over, or... No, I'd use a Harley for that. It's got more weight behind it. Oh my god. Oh no, I read it wrong. Oh, did you? What would be your dream bike if money was no object? So, after all oh, that... I'm so sorry. <sighs> Better luck next time. <laughs> what would be your dream bike? I don't really know. There are a lot of bikes that I like. <laughs> Just like a... Crazy weirdo. I've got a secret for you. I think your favourite bike Gilai, is... Gilai. Oh my god, no. Has he got a brine? Has he got a brine? Stop. Your favourite bike would be the R90? Mm. I think everyone knows that it's one. It's very complicated. I'd like to own one, but... They are pretty... I could, I like I could dream higher than an R90. Dream higher. 
Oh, we have another Merry Christmas from Wolfie Picks. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Wolfie Picks. Merry Christmas, everyone, because I'm probably going to get a lot of Merry Christmas video. Uh, uh, it's Christmas. we're filming this two couple of days after Christmas. I'm sick of Christmas already. I'm, ah. I managed to stay how um, what's the word? Drunk. Got through it. Ash Vlogs, 1994. I'm getting a geared bike. How do I know if I can ride it or not? As I have been... As I've done a course, but I feel I'm anxious about it. Please let me know. Well, uh, I have a video on this. Well, no, I don't have videos. It's much better than the answer I can give it. Look in my channel. There is a playlist called For New Riders. And there are videos there that talk about how to use a geared bike, slow clutch control, um, everything. So if you start, if you didn't know anything about bikes and you started with the first one, by the end of the videos, you'd know generally how a bike works, how the licenses are, I believe, uh, and a bit about fine control and, and stuff like that. So basically, if you're a bit anxious, go and get another training day, maybe, or go to a car park nearby and practice. But mm. yeah, so that's what I did. I did my CBT. I did half of it on a bike, half of it on a scooter, and I didn't know what. I was I felt nervous, didn't really know what to do. One extra training day with a different company, um, and it was just solely me and the instructor. And by the, I mean, at first of all, I was so nervous, and I, and I actually dropped the bike and like broke the clutch. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, what have I done? And at that moment, I thought I can just give up and go home or carry on. And then by the end of the day, I was so confident, ready to just get my bike. So you might just need to do an extra training day. It doesn't actually cost that much. Simple life is simple. Practice makes perfect. That's Nothing's simple. that difficult. Uh, right, Davy. Uh, now, before now, I pronounced this guy's name and got it wrong. Is that Davy Batch E? Looks like it. Davy Batch E. Yeah. Or Davy Buck. Uh, do you advise dogging on a bike? Uh, yeah, because you can just rinse it off. Um, <coughs> you don't get any stains on the interior. Uh, generally, it's and you know you, you stand out in a crowd. And you, I'm just thinking of how you can make it look like. I mean, if you're dogging in a car, everyone knows what you're doing. Because like all the, you can just see through all the windows steam well, up on a bike. That pe doesn't happen. Pe people didn't realise that Derek's Christmas Get Up, the Ho Ho bike was actually just to go dogging on it. Really attractive people, like they're like moths to a flame, doggers. <laughs> Quiet Daz, uh, for you both, if we never had bikes, would you ride a scooter or a trike or a quad? Uh, if we didn't have, uh, it's a bit of a silly question because if, if you didn't have scooter, if you didn't have bikes, you wouldn't have scooters. But yeah. Out of those options, if someone said to me, you have trike, scooter, or quad, go scooter, bird, 650. I want a quad. They look fun. Wait till you corner one, they're not that much fun. I'm not good at cornering anyway, <laughs> since they make a difference. <laughs> the only difference is you don't get any warning on the car. I'm cornering, I'm cornering, dead. Oh. Ian Collins, what is the actual meaning of Space Corp Directives? 34, 124, question mark, he he. That's a reference I don't get. Oh, um, it's a Red Dwarf quote. Okay. Wasn't it the Space Mining Corp, though? Wasn't there, it wasn't mining put in there for Red Dwarf. Don't restock soup machines while chickens are on the loose. What? It's going to have something to do with soup machines or chickens. Okay. Bad drivers. Does Reno call you spicy and are you yourself actually spicy? Always wondered what you taste like. Um, <laughs> no. No, Reno doesn't call me spicy. It would just, just be really weird. It would just, yeah, yeah it would be weird. Generally Jeff, you know. <laughs> um, am I actually spicy? Only if I've been bathing in chilli sauce. Ooh. That would sting a lot of areas. Oh. Oh. Right. Lyle Hutchinson, did you meet on Tinder? No. Fuck no, I've never had Tinder oh on my phone. Um, to, to me, that's just syphilis, herpes, AIDS, <laughs> gonorrhea, <laughs> chlamydia. I just want to screw. I just want to screw. Don't matter who you are, just anyone. That's all I see just, Tinder as. Just, I don't see it as a dating app. It's just a... The Family a Guy app. portrayal of... Um, no, American Dad version. No, 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 no. Family Guy, but where Quagmire gets on Tinder. I... Mark Ward. <laughs> I swear. Back again. Mark, no. <laughs> I have a Christmassy question. Go on. This is from Pretty Kitty. 
and they said, oh, what are your favourite festive foods and beverages? Pigs in blankets, gammon. Well, not agree, many I'd, people have gammon. I'd agree with those two. Um, all the nummy chocolates you get. I literally have so, so much chocolate now. <laughs> I would not believe the amount of chocolate that I have. It is ridiculous, actually. <laughs> I don't really like a lot of Christmas food, though, because I don't like Christmas pudding. I don't like a lot of the Christmassy food that you get, which is probably weird to some people, but I'm just not me. so awkward with food. Uh, oh, beverages. Just anything. Rum. Doesn't really matter, does it? Rum. <laughs> rum, rum. Actually, I'm going to go to the top comments. Squish, squish. <laughs> Once you hear it, you can never unhear it. Yeah, but I don't think many people have a thing about squishing stuff as much as you. Sammy. <laughs> the capacitor. Any holiday plans for next year? Uh, no. Um, I haven't actually been on a holiday since... Well, I went to Cornwall for a week about 15 years ago. And before then, when I was about seven, I went to Scotland a couple of times. I've never been out of the country. I've never been on holiday. I've never been in a position that we could afford to do it. And this year is even more so. I was hoping to do a trip to Germany this year to go and see uh, Phil and Renner. We have to be very careful how he <laughs> says I always say her name. Um, and basically, I have to be more worry about my career and stuff because the metal works. It's working, but I haven't actually sold a clock in over three and a half weeks. And unless I start earning a lot more money, I'm just going to have to... I, I, yeah, let's not go into that now, but it's not good for YouTube. Let's just say that much. Uh, another question from Brett w Wendell. Um, do you let spot... <laughs> from Wolfie Picks. It says, if Reno was spicy and spicy was Reno, would Reno still be short or would, would Reno be tall like spicy? That's the question for the masses. Yeah, I don't know the answer. I think you guys should answer that. I'm confused. For me, would I be mega short I mean, wait, I mean, would I... Yeah, see, point proven. Moving on. Sparky rides, is Reno really Amino? And how mean can she be? No. The only reason why I have... Answering for herself there. <laughs> is she Amino? No. <laughs> no, I am not Amino. No, she's not Amino. Not the I'm slightest. Not mean. The only reason why I've got Mino is because it rhymes with Reno. And Reno is one of Whee! the... Reno is one of my nicknames, um, which my youngest sister gave me, and her one is Mino, so it matches. Uh, so when I wrote Reno, I automatically thought of Mino, and that's how I did it. Plus, when I had to create my YouTube, um, my email address couldn't be just Reno, it had to be longer, so I just went Reno Mino, and that's how I found it out. I'm not actually mean, that's not why, it's not what it's about. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. Oh, it's like don't someone snapped his face off. Don't ruin my headwear. That was working. That was. Oh, it stinks in it. Oh, actually, I should probably take a picture of this for Instagram. Here is a the middle of the video plug for. We both have social media. You have Twitter and Instagram. It's Reno Me Now on both, isn't it? It is, yeah. And I have Instagram, three accounts, official Spice One Ten official. For the normal stuff, Spicy 110 Metalworks for Metalworks and Spicy 110 Photography for Photography. I also have Facebook and Twitter. Because I am a Instagram All of the whore. social media. <laughs> <laughs> that is the one. That is the one. I have a question from May Crotch. Uh... <laughs> Not Mike Rutch. No, May Crotch. <laughs> Mark Crotch. Um, they said, hi Reno and Spicy, hope you had a great Christmas. What was it that first attracted you to each other? Well, we, it wasn't, we didn't start talking in the sense of... No, because most people start talking because they're interested in someone. We were just talking... Talking as friends. Genuinely. Like you were in a relationship at the time. It was kind of failing oh, yeah. <laughs> at the time. I wasn't, but wasn't looking. <laughs> Uh, and we just got talking. Yeah, I think we became friends. We were acquaintances for a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Then we became friends. Um, and you were helping me out with all my stuff that was going on at the time. And then 
it, it just grew from the friendship. We just hung out more, and then the more time we saw each other, the more we started liking each other, and then things kind of just progressed from there. So eventually we were just like, when is this going to turn from friendship like to relationship? Or what point does it change? Because at that point it kind of already was, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just it needed to be named. Need named, yeah. So then we just went for it. But uh, Right, question from mine. Flow Tech PK. Is Reno going to get a Supermoto so you can go green laning together? I would like to see more green laning videos. I'd like to do more green, green laning videos, but I just haven't really got around to it. And... I'm so I'm too short for supermotos. Yeah, no, I do not fit on any of them. People don't appreciate that <laughs> supermotos are reserved for tall people. I'm only five foot three. I've sat on Derek. My feet do not touch the ground. <laughs> barely reach the pegs. To <laughs> they be barely reach. I cannot fit. And also, I'm a bit of a wuss when it comes to all that stuff. So I'd be worrying way too much about crashing. Where you'd just be going hey through everything. I'll be like I'm far back behind somewhere. It does look fun though. It does look fun. Should I be scared? Randy Dandy asks, how much do you like Greg's? I don't. How I, much do you love Greg's? I, I hate Greg's and everything that Greg produces. I like Greg's. I don't like food that's dripping in pastry and fat. No, I just look at all the sweet things. I go in oh. there and I'm like, mmm, donuts, mmm, cake. Oh, they sell more than mm, pastries? They sell more than pasties? Yeah. Oh. Greg's, Greg's do every kind of pastry ever, and they do sandwiches and lunch stuff, but I go in there for the yum yums. Meh. Mm, tasty. Driver Films, why do people hate words like moist, sloppy, and seepage? Ooh. Oh no, I've had a little bit of seepage. <laughs> a little bit of seepage. Sloppy is a uh, gross one. I don't mind the word moist. Doesn't bother me. I like it. Uh, I don't know why, honestly, it, but it's a lot of people. I know somebody used to, so I used to always talk about, like, oh, the roast is very moist and succulent this week, would you like some? Horrible, what? Moist beef? It always reminds me moist of cake. Moist. Like a really soft, nice, like the perfect sponge cake ever. That's what that word reminds me of, which makes no sense, but that's what I think of. That's why I like the word. I think it's because when you say it, it kind of has a sound to it that sounds gross when you speak it so it makes you think of it more and it just adds together uh, i'm going to go through two questions really quickly last gen gamer do you think motor vlogging is dying yes and or no kind of talked about it did i talk about it recently in the video i've just yes. not made that video you've talked about it many times the deb 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 uh, is it worth sorry the dubstep biker is it worth getting on a bigger bike I ride a 125 adrenaline and I like to go on uh, I'd like to go on large rides out also if so what's the next best size bike basically you can survive in a 125 if you don't find yourself needing to go on 70 mile an hour roads for long periods of time in that case a 125 is actually great I mean, Reno is a good example. Reno has her A2 license. She is yeah. getting a bigger bike, but she is fully aware of the fact that when you change from a one two five to a bigger bike, your costs are going to go up. Yeah, they will go up. If you only use it to get around short distances and you don't use the motorway much, it's you might just as well stay on it. If you want to go longer distances, it's easier on a bigger bike because one, they're easier to ride, which you don't. Everyone says it, you don't realise it until you actually ride it, and two. Um, it just makes life on the motorway so much easier. Like on my, but you have to rev it to the max to get to at least seventy, and it's just a little bit more dangerous and sketchy. If you're on a bigger bike, you can do it easier. It, you can have less problems. So. But do do you need? So you don't need one, but do you want one? Hell yeah! I, I like big bikes, and people say, "Oh, spicy." You used to say you don't need anything, anything bigger, and now look at you, and it's like the word need, need and want are different things. I you could need. I want a golden toilet. I don't need one. Why would you want a golden toilet? Sell it. That's a good idea. But then how you'd have to buy it in the first place. You'd probably sell it for less because no one wants to buy a used toilet. I have a disguise. I'd steal it. More for mine. Then we're going to go to Reno for a bit. Sloth Rider. Hey, spicy big fan. Huge thumbs up to you. But simple question: When are you and Reno going to dual vlog, like both on different bikes, chatting away about your usual? helpful knowledge you're not uh, as I've not seen you do many dual vlogs before with anyone else it's like 
you're a lone wolf. I hope you're doing well. Whatever. Well, interesting thing. Me and Jake Garden Snake invented jaw vlogs. Uh, easily forgotten by lots of people because we I've been around as long as one. Um, I've done loads of jaw vlogs. As I say, I reinvented it. <laughs> um, me and Rena have done a few. But the main issue is... It depends where we're going. It depends what we're doing. Well, yeah, but it's more simple than that. We don't ride together very often because I work from home and Reno works from work. She leaves at, you know, early in the morning and the pitch dark comes home... In the dark. In the <laughs> evening in the dark. So with this time of year, we're just not out riding yeah. together. Because the only um, time we really get is the weekend. And then on the weekends, either we've got stuff we need to do because we've not had time in the week to do it while we're doing other stuff... Or we've been working all week and you weather. Want to have, and you yeah, want to or you just want to relax and chill out so, and you don't want to be concentrating on we, that. We'll do more, but this time of year it's kind of... It's a bit hard, isn't it? Because in the evening it's dark, you won't see anything, and it's cold. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, Maximus 2 Wheelicus asks... Do, do either of you try to use the toilet whilst the other is having a shower? Also, what is the square root of insanity? Well, we kind of live in like a shared house, so if one of us was to use one when the other was in there, it means the door would be unlocked, which means that anyone could just walk in, which would be really awkward, so what? no. <laughs> Does that make sense? The only way you could go in... What? I mean, if you used to arrange to go in at the same time, that's doable. Yeah, but then... The answer, the, left, you, you're over explaining. The answer is no. No. The answer is no. No. Um, and what is the square root of insanity? Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. I think the past ten minutes of what's been going on in my head. <laughs> <laughs> TT asks, congratulations on becoming an auntie. Thank you. Um, Reno, did Spicy get you a ring for Christmas? If not, then Spicy, are you going to get her one for her birthday or next Christmas? Everyone wants us to get married and have kids like now. Most of these questions are like, when are you getting married? So what are your plans for the future in getting married? I, when are you having kids? Are you going to have kids? I think someone asked if you're having kids, are you going to call it uh, Spino or something? Spino? It was something like that. They merged the two names together. Just a bit. It's a bit random. It's a bit random. Well, it, whatever happens when it happens, but we're not. Well, we're not having kids. We've decided that, and and then you. Know, the only thing I'd say about marriage is, why? What is the benefit of being married these days, other than a legal agreement, which is going to cause you more shit? Well, it depends. If you I'm not against marriage. I like the idea because it shows a commitment. You know, the other person can feel safer because of that legal mm. bind. But that's normally when you're really invested with kids or, or a house and mortgage and blah, 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 blah. I get it. But at the same time, coming back, I think it's because I come from a family that marriage has not really worked out for anyone. <laughs> that's the only problem, isn't it? When people get married and then something happens and they divorce, it causes just so much stuff to deal with afterwards. I mean, I like the idea of being married, but I'm the type of person who would want to get married to, like, whoever I get married to is the person I'm married to for life. So you've got to make sure you pick the right person. <laughs> oh, he's staying up! <laughs> and that is how you know you pick the right person. <laughs> well, when it stays up. Uh, Dazzle Rebel Rides asks... My question to both of you is what can be done to encourage more people onto motorcycles? Falling rider numbers is an issue throughout Europe and America, so this can this trend be reversed? Mm, it depends, really, because people who are into bikes are always going to get on bikes no matter what. People who want cheaper transport are going to get bikes. So then the whole YouTube trend, I think, is bigger in America than it is here. So more Americans, I think, are getting on bikes for that reason. But It's a dying industry out there as well. The reason it's dying is people are becoming chicken shits. <laughs> and also, if you're a biker and you tell your son or daughter you can't have a bike, you're killing the industry. And I understand why you're doing it. You're saying because you understand what you were like on a bike and you know the risks that were taken. But it's destroying the bike industry. Uh, the things that are really helping grow the bike industry these days are things like vloggers. And I'm not saying this just myself, it's I'm a very small YouTuber, but there is the biggest influence at the moment, I think, that is getting people into motorcycles. It's not MotoGP, 
and it's not anything like that. It's daily vloggers and people on social stuff and just and Instagram. It's that's the sort of thing that makes people go and go. I want to get a bike. I want to be in that kind of culture. Yeah. And part of the problem with that is the fact that the companies selling the bikes don't appreciate that. They th whether they think that you know they're resting on the laurels of we well we've always sold bikes we'll keep selling them, or if it's them thinking you know oh well just the marketing will do it. it no, bike companies marketing so their own marketing is normally hideous mm, yeah i think this is from jay gold 85 um hello reno and spicy merry christmas merry christmas to you too uh three part question for you both oh i think it's more i don't know um how many training days did you do before mod one slash two did you ride to and from on your 125 and how did it feel going from riding a bigger CC bike back to a 125? Thanks in advance. P.S. I'm thinking of going for a CBF, uh, CB500F or a 650F depending on the funds after the tests. Um, I did about three days for my Mod 1 and 2. First day is, is like your CBT, you just get used to the bike and all this stuff. Spice has got loads of videos on everything that explains it so I don't need to go more into it. Um, yeah, just did three days, did the mod one at the end of the second day, I think. Well I think we did I think we did both of the exact same way. We both rode there on our one two five. I did, yeah. We both did it over the course of over the space three of three days. days, but there was a gap towards For the, the mod, two. mod two. I think I booked mine really close together. It's well yeah, but it's uh training day, train day ending with mod one, mm. going back half a day of training ending with mod two. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and it felt horrible. <laughs> Going on the 500 was nerve-wracking and once I got used to it, I loved it. Second day, I was like, yes, this is amazing. I'm so used to this bike now. Get back on my bike to go home and I'm so used to having to adjust all the power that this bike has. Go on to mine and I'm like, I nearly dropped it like three times because one, it was taller than the, the 500 I was riding and also it has so much less power, so you think well, yeah, that you're, this, you're this, going this to is the thing. A one, two, five to pull away. You do that. If you did that on a much bigger bike, you can have. Yeah. yeah. So, so I had the same thing, which is it's great. I have no problems riding the bike. I, I got first time I was ever on a big bike and I'm able to ride it within five minutes. The guy told me to go out on the road because he just said, "Do this, do that, do this," and went, "You've never ridden a big bike before," and I'm like, "No," and he's like, right, <laughs> out on the road," and and then yeah, it's it's just having no power. My controls are all backwards as well, because on the big bike, my indicator and horn were in the opposite position to my bike, so I kept beeping when I shouldn't be beeping, and the throttle on my bike comes in really quick, and on the bigger bike it didn't, but the clutch comes in really late on my bike and came in instantly on the big one, so it was a bit confusing, but I got used to it, I learned how to adjust. The only thing I will add is, as you know, nowadays I have... 600 a 440 and i also always have a 125 here and i switch between riding any of those bikes during the time I and mean, it's something you just get used to it used to be a big thing for me it was like really weird going back from one bike to another bike to another bike but now i just i know i'm not like, oh, on one on 125 and it rides like a 125 i get onto a 600 i know it rides like a 600 in the same way that if i get onto a thousand now i don't ride it like it's a 600. But... <laughs> from sasubi online uh, and they asked, I asked this on Spicy's channel as well, but what are your favourite dirt bikes? I don't know if I have one because I can't really ride them because they're always too big for me. So uh, probably, mm, I want to say Derek, he's not really a dirt bike. He's not a dirt bike, I don't think that's what they mean. I don't know. I don't KTM. One. Just KTM just rule it these days as far as actual off-road dirt bikes go. So it's just something. Else. And they have everything from small to big, so buy KTM. That's what they all ride anyway. Yeah. You just look at they all ride KTMs. There's a reason for it. The marketing's brilliant. <laughs> Alfie D, what do you like the most about the other person? She's nutcase. <laughs> Zest for life. Zest, lemons are life. <laughs> yeah, that explains. Yeah, they go. That explains. <laughs> you won't get that joke, but yeah, that explains it. Only we get it. There are many things that I like about you. He's a very kind, caring person, and funny, and crazy, like me. 78 Gragon, uh, one, can I use the Street Hawk music? I don't know, ask the Street Hawk people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too happy both. Would you consider a camping vlogging weekend trip? 
No, I don't like camping. It's pointless. Uh, Jeremy Clarkson. I don't. I, I. I. do understand. Like, if you're in a nice place and it's not raining, and you know you're not listening to someone pissing in a bucket or something <laughs> like, you know, I can understand that. The like being away, like actually camping away, camping because you have to camp because of where you are. I get. But when it comes to staying in some campsite with five hundred other people, just it's, it's it's like camping in your back garden. Why bother? <laughs> Mike Gang 73 Hi Spicy, I am a late comer to my cycling in my 40s, been riding a 125cc for about a year and a half now, uh, on the A1 licence, learning permit, no test done yet. What? You mean your CBT? If you're on an A1 you would have done Theory Mod 1 and Mod 2. Um, the A1 permit was all my instructor was permitted to give me because of the total lack of experience. I've been itching to move up to some more powerful than 125 for a nice while, so in my situation, what would you suggest would be a good bike for me after a 125? I'm really confused, to be honest with that comment. I don't understand. Anyone can... If you can go to a school and have never ridden a bike, they should be able to take you from never riding a bike to being on, if you're old enough, a 1,000cc in a week. Um, it might not be advisable, but they should be able to do that uh, I don't uh, yeah. uh, the next size up would be a 600 really because a 600 they're, they're, they're not powerful really I mean, you, know, I can, you can fall throughout the 600 most of the time and it won't be that much of a big deal um, I mean if, if you are a little bit unsure maybe go for an A2 license and but there's no no you wouldn't go for an A2 because you're in your 40s just take the full license and get whatever you feel suits you the bike you'll be doing it on will be about a 600 to see how you find that. Um, I don't, and if the school's that weird about it, try somewhere else because yeah. they should just take you. They should want to progress you. Uh, and if you pass the full A1 license, then you've done the same thing basically. Uh, I don't understand. I mean, it's easier it to ride a bigger bike than a 125. CBT. You might do. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, yeah. Tim plays life, Cornetto or Magnum? Mm. Magnum. Yeah, but only one particular Magnum. The Magnum that's like ice cream, chocolate, caramel, chocolate. I've not had one. Like, I need to. I need to have. This oh, one. oh no no no! The raspberry one. I've seen the one it. That's I've gold. not had it. Yeah. Have we, have we had one. I'm sure we both had one. I don't remember. It's like it was like gold on the outside, and it has like raspberry in between the two mm. layers of chocolate. That was pretty nice. Mm. Bimbo, uh, who would win in a no holds barred fight to the death? You or Reno? Hypothetically, Reno, because she can hurt me without trying. <laughs> She is little, and she's petite, and she has caused me severe pain in many ways. By all of it was by accident. <laughs> all my broke my I broke my toe, and I went mine out for my toe. She looked behind and then sat straight on my foot. <laughs> I tried to sit next to him, and I sat on his broken toe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how this happens. It just uh, somehow it happened. Martin Berry, are you going to fit a sidecar to Divi for one of life's little treats? Lol. <laughs> Fucking ejector seat. Oh my god. Hey, you want to come for a ride to my bike? Yeah, hey, sure. Bobby, want to come for a ride? <laughs> <laughs> ejecto seat, oh curs. Uh, right, anyway. <laughs> uh, two wheel nasty. Dude, I'm a fairly new vlogger. Do you have any advice for me? Yeah, I have a playlist uh, of stuff for new vloggers. If you mean motor vloggers, um, don't expect too much out of the industry. It's not growing like it used to. It's very different. And generally just be yourself. And jer Jerpy uh, was asked literally the same thing. What are some tips to start motor vlogging? Get a camera, get a bike, or whatever device you're going to be riding. And because I know she seems to be a quad bike in the picture. And just talk about the stuff you're interested in. Um, but again, don't expect it to go anywhere. <laughs> Okay, Mephesto Two Wheels. I think that's the first time I've ever pronounced your name correctly. I apologise. Two questions for you. One, what did you give to the other half for Christmas? Can be asked by one of both. Uh, you got some jewellery and some, uh, um, a neck scarf to keep warm on a bike. And yeah. There was one more thing, wasn't there? Oh, I got your pen. Oh, yes, a pen. She's. Uh, and this uh, little pig. The, explain this one, right? This is a squidgy pig. I bought it thinking it was a stress ball. It was 56p, right? How does this come from China for 56p when I can't send a letter next door for less than it's that? It's not focusing. It focus, your fuck. Squish. It's very squishy. 
It's made of pure silicone, and it is very cute, and, and it, I love and it. And I think it comes from a sex toy factory. The point is, I thought it was like a big sque- uh, stress ball, and Reno's obsessed with pigs, and <laughs> yeah. It's and you're um, getting me some Lush stuff. So he will smell nice. Not that he doesn't smell nice, but I've dug myself um, a hole. <laughs> She digs herself into many holes. Um, right, number two. If a subscriber offers you a test ride their bike like you have done uh, with some of the vloggers, would you accept it or does it depend on the person asking the bike ride? Uh, right, basically, if someone offers me to ride their bike, they need to be a personal friend because when I ride someone else's bike, as in the sense of a motor vlogger or, or just a, someone who knows me, uh, the insurance is third party only. So if I bin the bike, I pay for it. So it, it needs to be someone I trust and know how they're going to react, etc, etc. Uh, so random people offering me rides on their bikes, as flattering as it is, the answer is always no. Uh, I have taken up the offer a couple of times at fests, but I will not be doing that anymore. Uh, it just, it was, I got away with it. Um, that's the advantage of doing, my cat is going to. <laughs> what? Is she going to get in frame? I think she might. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I realise this video is probably going to be quite long, but I don't know exactly how long it's going to be, and if it's really long, well, sorry. <laughs> the problem is with the Q&As, Q- Q- if you answer loads and loads of questions, people say it's too long, and if you don't answer loads of questions, they complain you didn't answer their question. Mm. But it might be okay, because there's two of us, so it's like... Maybe. Um, when I take bikes for review from dealerships or from manufacturers, people often ask me, like, what's the deal there? It's a contract like anyone would sign um, for, like, a demo bike. So, that should answer your questions. I'm going to answer three more. Ali G217, for you both, what has been your best experience on a motorcycle? Um, probably first time I got to ride a thousand cc and actually understand how quick bikes can be. I don't know. I think when I passed my test, that was a great moment. You're still early in your career to be yeah. picking best moments. I don't really. Maybe being on the back of your bike. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. MT Julie, how hard is it to ride together and not run into each other? Are there rules you both have to follow? If you mean like riding in formation with other bikes, yeah, there's a general rule, which is you don't ride with people you don't trust. Don't do anything unpredictable. This is the thing that scares the living crap out of me, is why I don't do big rides on the meets. If I don't know you, I won't ride with you, because I don't know what you're like, what your mentalities are. I've been in group rides. When I have joined group rides that I didn't know the people, we got to a point where, you know, they're jumping red lights and stuff, and I'm just like, <laughs> you, you carry on. Yeah. Um, generally, you try and stagger yourself on the road, so you don't run into the back of each other, and you can also see each other in your mirrors. So someone will take the front and then here, and you stagger yourself like that. Uh, you don't ride really, really quickly. Just don't be an idiot. Don't be an Just idiot. Just ride normally. Make sure you're not in their blind spot. And over time, you will progress your trust of each other and you'll understand how you ride together. Like me, Renna and Phil, um, we sometimes did weird things, but we understood what we were going to do. But we would never put each other into a situation that was dangerous or dodgy. Really. James... Mc, oh, it looks like it should be McLaughlin, but it's lots of C's. McCulloch? Yeah. McCulloch. McCulloch? Uh, how did you get your confidence back after your crash? Never really lost it, to be fair. I don't think I did either. Remember when I came off, my, I mean, my crash was not as bad as yours, I only fractured my ankle. <laughs> no. But everyone was like, oh, does that mean you're going to stop riding now? Well, that's a classic everyone's yeah. I do actually have two videos on this. <clears throat> I have a video like called Never Riding Again, and I have another video called like um, Riding Again After a Bad Crash. Because uh, I get asked this question so much, the, the simple answer is I can't really answer it for you because I never had that feeling. I can understand why you would, but for me, b- riding a bike is worth the risk. I so think when you cra- when you come off, either it's your fault or someone else's. There's there's only those two options. So either what I thought thought when I crashed, it was my fault. So I just thought, well, I'm an idiot. I'll learn from that and won't do that again. And if you crash because of someone else, then most people just start thinking, okay, well, that happened because of that. Maybe it was my fault. Maybe it was theirs. I'll just be more careful in the future. Yeah, because some people get scared. They don't ride, but get that back is on. that is <laughs> basically that is basically the answer. 
to, to all crashes. If it was your fault, you were an idiot and you need to learn and adjust your riding. And if it wasn't your fault, well, then it was just bad luck and you could have been hit by a bus walking. You could have been on a unicycle. Um, you know, it's funny, people who get run over crossing roads never say, are you going to walk again? <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> um, well, it depends how hard they get hit. See, earlier question of why, why, why do I love reading over stuff like that? She's savage at times. And on that note, and this long, very long video, we probably got demonetized for that last bit. Um, thank you very much for watching. We will do more of these if people request it. They probably will. They will Everyone request. loves us. We are the most amazing. We are the oh, best. Oh, really? I don't know. <laughs> Just... Everyone loves us. We're amazing. We're the best. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss, eh? Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, we probably will do more. Probably. Squeegee piggy. <laughs> Bye.